みなさんこんにちは。私はキスリン大学の初回とです。日本語ができないので、英語で発表させていただきます。So today my topic is contemporary literature between Japan and China. Uh, in principle, the, 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 the discipline of contemporary literature is measured in the study of literature in at least two ways. And first, contemporary literature means the knowledge of more than one national language and literature. And second, contemporary literature has an ideology of inclusion of the other, be a, mar be a marginal literature in its several meanings of marginality, drawing various text types. Uh, and uh, as a common as a common sign, so we all know contemporary literature was begin in the Europe, so it was demonstrated a focus on European literature and later on European and American literature. But then this concept divided and was imported to the uh, most of the Asian countries. In 1970s, contemporary literature was re-established in China, and because of the history between China and Japan, so the technology they used are quite different from the European research method. Uh, as we can see, as the regarding Meiji restoration as a limit, we divide research time into the ancient and con and contemporary uh, in China, just two separate parts. Uh, after Ming Restoration, Japanese literature began to absorb the Western writing technique and also changed the method, uh, and it also changed the trend between the China and Japan. As I said, in the Asian uh, literature history, Chinese scholars usually focus on uh, how Chinese poem and novels affect on Japanese literature, but after the Ming Restoration, everything changed, um, or we can say to the worst. It is contemporary chat which I made. In fact, anyone who majored on the contemporary literature, uh, Chinese contemporary literature, couldn't avoid the effect from Japan. In some point, Japan lack a medium, and because that special, uh, special society environment in the period of China. So at the beginning of the 19, 1920s, Hu Shi, Chen Du Xiu, Lu Xun, and the, and Zhou Zuren, a lot, a lot of masters, uh, a lot of very famous scholars, uh, go to Japan and uh, go to study. And because there is a lot of overseas, there's overseas students studying in Japan at that period. So they write a lot of very famous passage which have really big effect in China. Oh, and it is also the, the chat which I made. And it's also the chat which I made. And it's all the passages uh, the Chinese authors write in this three period. It is only a very small part of. It is a little difference of the research group between the, the ancient and, uh, and mo modern contemporary literature. One group scholars is focused on the Japanese literature. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, one group scholarships are major in Japanese and another scholars are major in Chinese. It means half of the, the scholars who major in the contemporary literature between China and Japan, they can, they can read really good or they know really good, good eye to the Japanese. So uh, the result, they, the, the, res, the research results are almost based on the translated version. Uh, so maybe there will be some different uh, or misunderstanding inside. So in my opinion, we need to feel the uh, diversity of the culture and the pay more attention to the original version. And uh, uh, it is also the, the point of Campus Asia and created more opportunities for the students, let them feel the device supported culture. 
if it's not the first time I come to Japan, but it's really the first time I spend such a long time in a in a foreign country and have conversation with the local student, learn the local culture. In fact, my my first feeling to Japan is is multicultural. I arrived at Okayama uh, airport at midnight, and I was surprised to find half of the students in my airplane are from Campus Asia, and they are really enthusiastic to talk to talk with me. Although my Japanese is really basic. And that's all the things I can imagine if I didn't come here. So the days in Japan are very short, and it's maybe like a dream. It's a very beautiful dream, but now it's the time to wake up. Um, so what I can do now is only give the best wishes to our students and the teachers in Campus Asia. And um, thank you. Thank you.